Hey guys, okay, time for another uh, video. I'm gonna be changing the tires on my Triumph Tiger 1200, and I'm gonna uh, show you how I remove my front and rear wheels uh, to change the tires. So let me move outside uh, to my bike. Okay, see you guys soon. So to remove the wheels, uh, at least remove the front wheel, you need to uh, remove the brake calipers, both the right and the left. Uh, I've already done it here and I'll put a link in the description uh, to the video where I show you how to remove the brake calipers. Okay, so and then I've tied, tied up the brake calipers to the crash bar so they're not hanging by the uh, brake hose line. Uh, so just check out that video if you want to see how to uh, remove and install the brake calipers. I've changing to uh, these Metzler Karu Street tires, 80-20. I'm going to try them out. I don't do too much off-roading, but uh, just for some light gravel and dirt roads, so I'm gonna try these out. Uh, and I've got, I bought this uh, Rabaconda Street tire changer. I won't show you in detail how I change the tires, but I, I am gonna show you um, how I remove the wheels. Um, there's a lot of videos online that show you how to use the street tire changer, the Rabaconda one. So, while the, the bike is still on the side stand, uh, let's go ahead and loosen some bolts and nuts uh, and then we'll put on the center stand the reason being uh, though there's weight on the bike right now on the tires so it'll be easier to uh, uh, crack open some nuts and bolts so first there are these two pinch bolts here let's loosen these up they are uh, six millimeter hex bits so just let's go ahead and loosen them up You don't need to remove them fully, just crack them loose. Next, uh, let's loosen the axle nut, uh, which is a uh, 17 millimeter hex. Use a nice long breaker bar. It's gonna be a lot of torque. So let me do that. And that's why it's easy to do when the bike's still on the ground. Loose enough. Um, let me move to the rear of the bike now. Luckily, this is a single-sided swing arm, so it should be uh, it should be easy to remove. The five nuts, they are. You'll need a 15 millimeter socket. A deep socket would be nice, and uh, just crack it loose. Don't remove it because the bike's still on the ground. So just crack it loose. Okay, so all five nuts are cracked loose. I haven't removed it, and uh, now we can put the bike on the center stand. Okay, so I've got the bike on the center stand. I've also got a jack just on the skid plate, uh, which is, uh, you know, uh, uh, lifting the front wheel off the ground and the back wheels on the ground. If I don't have that jack, the weight of the bike will cause the front wheel to tip down. So I'm going to start with removing the front uh, wheel. And uh, it's very simple. We already cracked these nut, uh, these bolts loose. So I'm going to remove the two pinch bolts first. And then I'm going to remove the axle. Uh, right? Both all of the cracked open. There are spacers. So there's one spacer on, on this side. And then there's one spacer on this side. You can see it here. They are different sizes and uh, so when you remove the axle and the spacers will fall out just keep note of which is the right spacer and which is the left spacer they do have markings i believe the right spacer is longer and it has two two markings i'll show that to you and the left one is shorter than the right one and it has only one marking i'll show that to you once i remove it so let me go ahead and remove uh remove the axle and the wheel okay so the wheel's out the axles out these are the two spacers it was pretty dirty and greasy so i did clean them and brake cleaner i just want to show you the difference between the right and the left so you can see the right one is long longer than the left the left is shorter and also the, another way to tell is the right's got these two markings two lines the left one's only got one and uh so this also just keep it on when you take it out you'll notice there's another line at the edge that will go 
into the wheel and then uh, um, facing inwards this is the this is the right spacer the left spacer again there's a this line towards the edge that goes facing inwards towards the wheel so this is the right this is the left of that so just keep a note okay uh while i'm here again give the brake discs a nice clean um with brake cleaner and then time to change tires so i'm not going to film this there's a lot of videos to show you how to do that but i'm gonna go ahead and do that okay so it's a new day i did take a break yesterday um after changing the tires i, I did put on new rubbers on my wheels looking really good all balanced i'm quite excited to put them on and test them out but um i didn't film taking out the rear wheel yesterday so i just want to walk you through it it's actually taking out the rear wheel is very very easy since it's a single sided single sided swing arm they only need like five um um threaded um what do you got sorry my brain's a little slow but only five bolts uh, that you need to take out um and then the the rear wheel comes out you need a 15 15 millimeter socket uh to remove these five bolts and then the wheel just comes out now to put them put the wheel back in it's exactly the same thing so i'm gonna put the wheel back here um there's some uh, there's some copper uh anti-seize copper grease here so i'm just gonna clean clean that out and put some new smear a little bit more new new grease so i'm gonna clean this and put some new grease and put the wheels back on and then I'm gonna uh, slowly start threading these in by hand, all five of them. Um, and uh, I'm gonna st start tightening them. In, uh, in you gotta do it in uh, in a star pattern. So I'm gonna start with start with this one. I'm, I'm not gonna torque it all the way fully. So I'm gonna just do it evenly so tighten this one a little bit then move move on to this one tighten this one a little bit then come down to this one tighten this a little bit come down to this one come up to this one tighten this a little bit and then finally this one so a star pattern and then evenly evenly tighten all five in that star pattern and then finally torque them uh to 65 newton meters I, and you, sorry, I don't know, I forgot the foot pounds conversion, but you guys can just uh, convert that in uh, Google. Yeah, so evenly, and then finally lower the bike. So I got, I got a jack here, so once once you're torqued to spec, then lower, lower the bike, uh, lower the rear wheel to the ground, and then you'll be ready for the front wheel. Okay, so let me get this, the rear wheel done, very easy. Okay, so the rear wheel has been installed. I torqued them in the star pattern to 65 newton meters or uh, 52 foot pounds then what i did was i lowered the rear end of the bike so the the rear wheel is sitting on the ground and it's got some force on it so the front wheel the front forks are slightly high so i can install the front wheel to install the front wheel make sure you first clean the uh Clean the holes and the spacers inside, uh, and then put put a fresh coating of grease. So I put grease inside the hole as well as the the left hand side spacer and the right hand side spacer. Remember, the spacers are different lengths. The right hand side is longer. The right hand side is longer, and then the left hand side is shorter. They have markings on it uh, and then i also put a fresh coating of grease on the axle now i'm going to put the tire the wheel and put the axle through the forks and the spacers and uh and i'm going to torque it okay my friends here one second okay so the front wheel has been installed and i've torqued uh, uh, the axle uh to 65 newton meters or 48 foot pounds 
um, and I've now I've lowered the bike so the bike is not resting on the jack anymore it's just resting on the center stand and uh, just to show you guys the spacers are correctly installed on the right and the left the speed sensor I don't know if you guys can see it it's not touching the ABS pulse ring so that's good everything looks good now it's time to install the pinch bolts and before we do that let's pump the front suspension a bit so i'm going to pump the front suspension and what that'll do is it'll it'll, it'll uh, let the front forks rest on the axle in a in its natural position because all this while the bike the front wheel's been off the ground so i'm going to pump the front suspension a little bit and then i'm going to install the pinch bolts okay so let me do that all right so I pumped the front suspension, I installed the pinch bolts, and I torqued them to 16 and a half foot pounds. I believe that's 22 Newton meters. And with that, my friends, we are done with both the front and rear wheel installation with fresh tires. Okay, and uh, last thing left is to put the brake calipers back, which I'll again just uh, click on the link in the description. Uh, to check out that video of how to remove and uh, install the brake calipers. Okay, so you guys hope you guys found this helpful and uh, hit the like and subscribe button if you want to, you know, check out my future videos or my previous videos uh, of my Indian Springfield and my Triumph Tiger. All right, guys, have a good day. Bye bye.